To give back to your community is considered admirable. To give back when times are tough, now that takes courage. And it is exactly what former Navasota standout Salomon McGinty did this week. In the first quarter in week one, McGinty was able to suit up for Tyler Junior College when the unthinkable happened. My foot went down, you know, the turf, you know, I don't, I don't know how that went, but it just snapped. I thought somebody came behind me and took my leg out from up under me, but it was all me by myself. I'm hoping it wasn't a bro uh, broke bone. I asked the ref, I said, how bad does it look? And all he said was, oh my God, and turned the other way. He was diagnosed with a broken tibia, an injury that will keep him off the field for eight weeks, ineligible for action. When hearing the news of his injury, he was devastated and was scheduled for surgery days later. As soon as surgery was over, an idea clicked in his head. He called and I was the first person he called when he got out of surgery. So he said, Coach, I'm fine. I want to be back and talk to the players and get them hyped up. And so I said, absolutely. I think this would be a great honor. It is here in the Navasota weight room where Solomon made his speech. Behind him are the history, plaques, and awards of what the Rattlers accomplished over the years, showing this year's team that they have so much more to play for. How they should come together as brothers. You know, they, they both had the same jersey on. They dressed alike. They bleed alike. They went through the summer uh, tour days alike. I mean, they, I mean, there's no need to go through that heat together and then don't be together during the season. I could see in the kid's eyes, you know, when he started talking, I had to touch him on the shoulder because that's how much he meant to me. And, and to be able to have a guy like that come back for homecoming and talk, it's not good that he's in a wheelchair when he has to do it, but it really, I think, inspired our kids to play hard. He was one of our best leaders for last year, and uh, it's, you know, kind of bad thing that happened to him, but it means a lot, you know, him st still caring about our team and coming back and talking to us. We knew he still cared. Like for him to come back and sit in, like no one else like come back and talk to us like he did. So it, it meant a lot to us. Solomon's message rang clear as the Rattlers went on beating Sterling 83-0 in front of a homecoming crowd, a gift to a former state champion. Currently, Solomon is back home, healing his leg before he goes back to school next week. Due to his injury, he is applying for a medical red shirt to forego this season in hopes of four more years of eligibility. Reporting from Navasota, Mike McCoy, ABC 40 Sports.